If you forgive others their sins, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you don't forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your sins. This morning, uh, in getting our kids ready for school, our three-year-old was putting her shoes on, or rather, refusing to put her socks and shoes on. And it ended up being more like wrestling an alligator, trying to uh, to get her her shoes on didn't didn't go great as you can imagine a couple uh, jabs with a foot in the stomach will will start your morning off on a, on a different note if you know what I mean. Well, I was thinking about uh, that a little bit as I was reading this passage and, and getting ready for this this devotional and um, not that I it's it's not about forgiving uh, our daughter that's that's not it at all. Uh, but it, it got me thinking about uh, trying to put a sock on a moving foot. It's not the easiest thing to do. In fact, it got to the point where it was impossible. And I, I had to find a new tactic, a new approach to be able to get a sock on a moving foot. An unwilling foot, let me say that. At first glance, this this passage of Scripture makes us think that, that God is going to withhold forgiveness until we learn to give it. It's like an ultimatum. But I don't think that's what Matthew is getting at. I don't think that's what Jesus is getting at, I should say, as Matthew is, is offering those words. I think Jesus is instead saying, until you understand the importance of forgiveness... Until you understand the role of forgiveness in relationships, you wouldn't reach out to accept the forgiveness that God gave you. Right? If I, if I don't understand the importance of, uh, of re- forgiveness and grace in the midst of a relationship, how would I have the wherewithal to even recognize the grace and forgiveness that God is giving me in our relationship? It's like throwing my foot around, hoping that at some point a sock will get on it. It's not going to. The foot doesn't want the sock. The foot doesn't take the sock. I think we have to learn that forgiveness has a meaningful place in relationships. And understanding what forgiveness is in the first place, it's not about... uh, saying what someone did was okay. It's not about getting over it. In, in many ways, it's about letting it go. Letting that, that weight go. When we can learn to forgive others, we can also learn what forgiveness from God looks like. And we're far more prepared to hold our foot still and let God put it on. Amen.